guys, welcome to this episode of Try La. My name is Carla, Pierce behind the camera, and today we are in the street called Rua dos Ervenarios, and we're gonna go explore this area. We're gonna find a place to eat at here as well, so come on, let's explore. If you've never heard of this street before, it's about time you did. This is one of Macau's oldest streets along with Rua dos Mercadores and Rua das Estalagens, where people used to meet to trade goods back in the day. While most of the traditional shops that once served the neighborhoods are no longer existing, the area, however, has managed to maintain its inherent charm and links to the past. With new, fresh businesses opening up here, such as artisan cafes and vintage stores with modern decors, the contrast between old and new gives this area a very hip and cool vibe. This is one of those very aesthetically pleasing looking cafes, very hipster cafes. This is another interesting shop right here. Lost and found. So they have a coffee antique, vintage loft on the second floor, and they have a rooftop coming soon. I'm not sure what's the rooftop. Do you have the job of your dreams? My dream job is to get paid to eat. <laughs> Honestly, exploring the area made us feel like we're tourists in our own city, seeing many new shops and things for the very first time. Have you tried this before? I've never tried this before. Interesting. Salted citrus pickle. I'm really curious. What is it? Am I in this particular store? I'll probably come back and um, buy a few candles there. Go check it out, guys. They have some Taiwanese candles. After exploring the area, consequently looking for something to eat, this stall that offers Arabic food is what caught our attention. Okay, so this is the place we're gonna eat at. It doesn't have a name yet, so I guess they are new, but it looks really good. So we're gonna go and try it out. I'm gonna have a shawarma and Pierre's having a burger. So we're waiting for our food right now. And we saw some really nice like areas to sit at over there. We're gonna show you in a little bit. Once we have our food, we're gonna go to that place. So we're here. This is the place that I'm talking about. I didn't know how to explain how the tables look like, so now you can see it. There are makeshift tables and seating chairs. And we have our food right here. This is my kebab. I'm gonna open it. I'm so excited. Ooh, look at that. No? Can't see? Never mind then. <laughs> You want to show them your burger? This is Pierre's burger. Wow, that's a lot of sesame seeds on the bun. So this is a beef burger and you got the spicy one. Spicy beef burger. I actually don't know what kind of shawarma this is. It just said shawarma, but I don't know if it's chicken or beef. We'll find out. Both of these are set meals, so they come with french fries. And it comes with drinks as well, so I got this canned bubble tea. It's really interesting. This is a Taiwan classic. This is the first time I've seen a bubble tea in a can, so we'll find out how that tastes like. And Pierre just got a plain bottle of water because he's basic like that. Basic, basic. All right, bon appetit. Let's eat. I'm gonna try this one first. Mm. First thing I taste is ketchup. <laughs> it's actually chicken, chicken shawarma. The ketchup is very tangy. It's like overpowering everything. Okay, now I taste the shawarma. I think put too much ketchup on this side. It's really overpowering everything else. And he said the shawarma is supposed to be spicy, but I don't think it's that spicy. I don't like taste the spiciness. It's definitely just like a lot of ketchup. There's cucumber, there's like vegetables, there's pickled vegetables, and of course, chicken shawarma, but a lot of ketchup. <laughs> I'm gonna try the burger. Mmm, this burger is spicy. Well, I think it's the sauce that's spicy. It's nice. Wow, let me get one more bite. I have to say that the bun is a little dry, but the patty is good and I like the sauce. The sauce is really spicy. I think you're gonna like this. It's decent. It's not that bad. I wouldn't say it's too great as well, but it's not bad. It's still good. I'll try it. I think it's the same sauce that they put in the burger. This one right here that we have on the side. This is for, for the french fries, right? For anything. Let me try it with french fries. 
Yeah, it's the same kind of sauce. It's spicy. Mmm, I like this sauce. Mmm. I should have used this in the shawarma instead of the ketchup. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna put some of these into that to give it a bit of an extra kick. Oh, that's a lot. Mmm, it was much better. Much, much better. The burger is really good, but you know, from the first touch of the bun, you can already tell it's really dry. The patty's not bad, but then again, yeah, it's just that it's so dry. Why are you so dry? Guys, we don't have any complaints, okay? It's just. Just eat, okay? Just eat. Don't complain, just eat. <laughs> if you guys are gonna come and try this shawarma or the burger or pretty much like I guess anything that is from that restaurant, I recommend you get one of these. I mean, I think they will give you anyway, but it's a must have, especially if you like spicy sauces. This really elevates like the flavor of everything. And it's also good with the chips and the fries. Almost done. Last bite. Do you want one? No? Okay, I'll finish the whole thing then. Mm. It's filling. I wouldn't say it's like the best shawarma I've tried. I think I've tried better shawarmas. But it is satisfying. It's filling. So if you're hungry, you want something that's easy to grab, easy to eat, on the go, Damn, this is this is good. Now I still have some fries. A lot of them actually. Oh wait, let me try the bubble tea now. Ooh. Ooh. Why is it orange? It has bubble tea. Really? I didn't know that. Oh, bummer. Should have gotten the other one. This is gonna be really sweet. Tastes very fake. I don't know. It doesn't taste like the classic Thai milk tea. It doesn't taste like bubble tea at all. It's very fake. Oh well, now we know. I tried. I'm not gonna waste it. I'm still gonna drink it. Just not all the way because it has 187 calories. So I'd rather eat than drink my calories, if you know what I mean. By the way, this place is so nice. It's so hipster. It's so chill. And there's actually plenty of dining options to choose from if you don't fancy Arabic food. The street seating is open to anyone as long as you order from any of the stalls or cafes or restaurants within the area. If it's your first time visiting Macau, this area is definitely worth a visit. And if you live here, well, come down once in a while and check out what's new, what's old, and what's popping. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode. If you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell as well. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.